Okay, so let's take a look at how to use GarageBand to add a basic music track to your film. Okay, when you first open GarageBand, you're going to get this window. In the past, they had an icon specifically for doing a movie soundtrack, and they have removed that. So what we're going to do is click on Empty Project right there and then hit Choose. From here, you have four more options. It's defaulted to this one with a microphone. It doesn't really seem to matter at this point which one you use, but we're going to just go ahead and click that one. So we hit Create. And we don't need this window. So we're going to hit this little icon and close that down for a second. So it used to be that you could drag a movie straight into your timeline. That does not seem to be the case anymore. So there are two different ways of getting a movie in here. One is to click here, and then we click on Movies. And from there, we can take movies that are located in our movie folder. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like there's a way to back out of that folder and get to other folders, unless they're subfolders of that folder. So if you have something in your movie folder, you can take it from there. The thing I want to use right now is on the desktop, so I'm not going to do that technique. Instead, I'm going to go to File, and down to Movie, and then Open Movie. To me, this seems a little counterintuitive for it to be hidden there in the File menu and not have an icon for it, but that's the way it works. So I'm going to grab this project right here. So now we have the movie up on the screen where we can preview it. But it's kind of in the way. So we're going to take that, we're going to move it here out of the way, put it right down there. All right, so now when we play it with our space bar, it'll play down here and we can see it. And there's also a track up here at the top. All right, now, right now you're hearing this clicking sound. That's because it defaults with the metronome turned on. So we want to turn the metronome off. We also want to go over here and change this from beats to time, since we're dealing with a film. And so if we click right here, we can go to time, and there we go. All right, so we have the sound effects that we've laid into the, the project here, and now we want to add music to it. So the way to do that is to bring up your music loops. So if we click over here to this little loop, now we have the loops browser and then we can we can choose from thousands of different sounds different loops sound effects all kinds of things it could take forever so there are ways of narrowing it down so for this little demonstration I'm gonna go up here to descriptors and I'm gonna start with intense and dark so that gives me some sounds that I can choose from alright I'm gonna narrow that down a little bit more by cl clicking over here to instrument and First, I really just want some sort of uh, bass beat, percussion kind of thing. So I'm going to, I clicked on all drums and then beats. All right, so let me try this first of all. Well, that sounds kind of interesting. So let me move that over here. So to make that work, if I drop it right into there, sometimes it'll take it and sometimes it won't. It depends on what kind of track was created here in the beginning. So if it doesn't work, I might have to actually take it down here so it creates a brand new track. So a whole new track is created now. It's a different kind of track. All right, so that's not what I want right now, so I'm going to delete that. And if I didn't want that track there, I can right click and just say delete track and it's gone. Okay, so now I have some music here. And I want it to start as soon as he starts running. All right, so I'm going to scan it down and on this shot right here is where I want it to start. So I'm going to move this down. So there we go. Okay, now it's ended. So since these are loops, I can then come up here. If I'm, I'm putting my mouse at the top of the, the icon here and then it turns into like a, a little loop uh, image and I can just drag it and I can drag it all the way out so right now I'm just kind of zoomed in on the screen if I go up here I can zoom it 
that way so I see the whole screen. So I'm going to go ahead and take it all the way down to the end for now. All right, so, so we have that, and it's a, it's a little loud, so I can adjust the volume right here. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to add something else. So I've got that sound. Um, so I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to click my X so that it, chain, it, it uh, gets rid of all the search functions. I'm going to go back to descriptors and go back to intense and dark. Go back to instrument, and on this, now I think what I want is maybe some sort of synthesizer sound. And that one was a beat of six, or 16. Um, so I'm going to look for beats of 16. If I click here, it will sort it. And now we're down to 16, so let's see what we got. All right. You want to spend more time trying to find the perfect thing, but I'm going to go ahead and drop that in. So I'm going to drop that in, create a new track, and I want to drop it at the end of the second loop. I'm going to take the volume down just a little bit. Okay, so we could continue to do this with a number of, of different uh, loops that we can find from different instruments. So here again, if we want to try something else, we can take that, uh, hit, click the X again so it gets rid of our, our uh, descriptors, and, or it gets rid of our uh, search functions. I'm going to go back to intense and back to dark again, and go to instrument, and this time, let's do maybe an electric guitar. All right, there's two that are 16 beats. Let's go ahead and just drop it in here for the sake of this tutorial. And stretch that down to here. Okay, so we can see here that we have uh, some volume coming up on our original soundtrack. All right, so that may be a good time to bring the volume down here. So. I've shown you how you can just take this and adjust the overall volume. But here we want to actually ramp it down. So the way to do that is um, go to uh, Mix and say Show Automation, or the shortcut key is A. And here you simply click the volume track, and it will put a little dot there. And so I want it right there. And so you don't have to hold the Option key like you do in Final Cut. So I'm going to click that, and then I'm going to drop this down a little bit. And actually, I'm going to pull it back that way. All right, and then I'm going to do the same down here on this one. And the same here. And let's actually take the guitar down a bit more. We're going to have it fade a little slow, slowly and then go completely out. And let's have the synthesizer go out a little bit after that. Okay, so some other things that you can do, um, if, if you just want to hear one of the tracks, is you can solo it. So if you hit the, uh, right here it looks like headphones, if you click that, just like in Final Cut, it'll solo that one track. That's all we're hearing. All right, or you can mute a, mute a track. All right, so what we want to do now is you want to mute the original track because we don't want to export that because we're going to take this back into Final Cut. All right, so from there, to mute it, you just click right here where it looks like a speaker with a line through it. So that track is muted. All right, so we're going to be able to hear all tracks except for the original track because these sound effects are still back in Final Cut. So some other options we have over here, uh, we have it set for volume now, but we can change that to where we are adding some echo, reverb. We have some other controls where we can uh, have some preset e equalizers. We can add a compressor if we want. And so there are a number of options just within this where we can change the sound effects a bit more. Okay, so once we've got our mix the way we want it, then we want to export it to take it back into Final Cut. So we go to the Share menu. And then we go to Export Song to Disk. 
When this comes up, we want to make sure that AIFF is selected. All right. And go ahead and just make it uncompressed 24-bit for your projects. All right. And then from there, we just export it. And that should have gone out to my desktop, which it did. Um, and then from there, I would import that into Final Cut. So when we play this, it won't have the original sound effects on it because those are still back in Final Cut. And we, we will just drop this into, the, uh, in, into Final Cut and from there we can do a final mix between all the tracks.